right here is the British lightweight hopeful Mark Jacasey, and I gotta think DC in a video game setting, this dude's gotta be pretty fun to play with. Yes, he does have a lot of varied striking techniques and things that are very good to see on television. So as your fun match, Mark Jacasey's doing jump and double kicks, so he would be a fun guy, but ultimately, you don't get those skills in the video game unless you possess them in right. real life, and Jacasey possesses those striking techniques that allow him to be as exciting as you see him on your television screen right now. Took some of the pressure off with a recent win over Joseph Duffy, Mark Jacasey, back looking for another win here tonight. because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are gonna to wanna to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right away. Or kill the tape for this, our main event of the evening. We set it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Herb Dean, Ray, he will Ray. handle the action Ray. inside the octagon. All right, so here we go with this highly anticipated stand-up only event. You've got to play by the rules here. There are a ton of them, but there is no grappling of any type, either on the feet or on the ground. Fighters cannot do follow-up strikes on the floor as well, so that bears watching here as round one gets underway. Massive body kick land. There's the leg kick, that one checked by Jacasey. Well, he's got a pretty good side kick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and it pushed his opponent back. Notice how it creates space and allows him to get back to where he's coming. Oh, good work with the jab there. Well, DC, they say styles make fights. We haven't had much of a fight here through the first minute. Hasn't been to this point. I mean, I don't have much to say, and I always got something to say. Oh, Jacasey going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Nice loop and punch. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Don't let him get that double jab off. Swing and a miss by Lee.
trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. We march on three minutes to go. Misses with the right hand. Take one, you give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Good work. That's a big strike right there. Oh, here's a kick to the body, blocked though by Jacase. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. He's got a good left hand, there it is. Come on, man, I need more coaches, let's go. Less than two minutes now to go. Good work. Come on, team. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Oh, roundhouse kick lands. Nice hook there by Lee. Circling to his right. Oh Hurt again. Now he's back up. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Battle back. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. Let's go, let's go. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to... Oh. He's in a lot of trouble now. Well, he's able to get back up here, but oh, man, is he on wobbly legs. Solid punch lands for him. The decision is inside the octagon. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 24 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your living room tonight. So here he is, the former UFC interim lightweight champion, Tony Ferguson. And here's a guy who a lot of these fellow lightweights believe represents the toughest matchup for them. Just hard to know what's coming. Truly a 5 2 player. And he will look to put all those skills to good use yet again here tonight. I mean, you point to the Josh Thompson fight, the beautiful elbow that he landed to split him open. And it shows you the diversity of Tony Ferguson. And you have to remember, he was a national champion at Grand Valley State University. Right. So if he needs to, a guy that has the ability to take you down and just brutalize you on the ground. Not only really brutalize you, but he has a great ability to submit his opponent as a show when he won the title fight, Kevin Lee. And he is most happy when he's in a fight, right? Certainly a guy who loves to train as is well documented. Just the way he attacked the knee injury rehabilitation just shows you his true colors. And I know I speak for the MMA fans around the world. Very happy to see Elton Cooley back in the octagon.
Well, this is exciting here in D.C. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here today. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee, sent to fight Tony El Kukui for the Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Tony Albuquerque Ferguson. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Referee Herb Dean fight. will handle the action Ready. in the octagon. All right, we are ready to go here at the start of round one for this stand-up only event. So grapplers need not apply. We outline the rules off the top, but here's your refresher. No grappling of any type. We also point out fighters cannot do follow-up strikes on the ground. Let's see if the combatants play by the rules here as our first round gets underway. Stop waiting. Get that high oh, massive kick lands flush. Back to the leg kick now, that one's no good. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into race to even start to think about striking. All right, so one minute into the fight, certainly a lot of respect on both sides, but a lot more respect than action, at least thus far. Yeah, boo, I'm booing, I'm booing. I'm not even gonna try, I gotta catch myself. You need to go in there and fight. Come on, man, some video games. Somebody do something. Go forward and fight. She does a great job of getting that leg kick to the target. Two minutes have gone by. Let's go. Take the game. Right on the button. Oh, nice. Oh, Superman punch lands. Right hand over the top. Lee going for the leg kick. He misses. Oh, he didn't like that one. Oh! Heard it bad. Misses again with a right punch. Circling to his right. Sharp body shot is there for Ferguson. Strike attempt there is blocked. Let's go. Get on here. 
So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for El Kukui, Tony Ferguson. Jab by Ferguson. Oh, big right hook for the ref. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. All right, get ready to time and count that jab. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood in the water, you gotta go and get it. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Just misses there with the left. Oh! Oh, he gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just got to find that kill shot and get him out of there. A lot of times that comes with reps, that comes with taking your time. You get excited, and you want to finish it because you think it's right there, but at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight. Saved by the bell, he will live to fight on. The question is for how long. All right, so a big knockdown in that last round, DC. We'll show you the replay. Nearly had him out of there. He almost had him out. He had him gone. He hurt him real bad. He thought the fight was over. But the night will go on. The dance continues. Will this be the final dance? You ready to fight? You ready? Go Second on. round here. Big kick land. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. Good night if that landed. Nice right punch followed by a left. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Great block there. Doing a really good job of using that reach advantage. Nice kick there by Lee. Fighters exchange in the pocket here. Good work, guys. Able to land, but barely with that front kick. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Kick attempt, it's blocked. One, two there by Ferguson. Just over three minutes to go. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Liver kick. Stop 
Just out of range with that left hook. Nice punch to the head. Oh, and he's off the target again. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Just over two minutes to go. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take any more. Think about Edson Barbosa, how he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind-up so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped from taking too many. This seems to be the path that he is wanting to take tonight in this fight. Need some work, guys. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Lee. All right, let's go. Let's get those hands going now. He did a great job setting up that high kick. Back and forth we go. Oh, that body shot hurt him. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Under a minute to go. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Oh, brilliant execution to land the roundhouse. Whiffs on the straight right hand. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Sounds on round two. Nice work, guys. You really push it hard. I can see that. But we have to be more effective with our content. Don't just throw punches for the sake of throwing punches. We're going to get tired. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready to fight? Ready. Third yeah. round underway. All right, next round is underway. And if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat. Both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high. And you just have to log the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fighting. Elbow lands for Tony Ferguson. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ, following a game plan, and it's working. Oh! Back to his feet. Real quick leg kick. Oh, he's got a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. It's up. The question is for how long? Finish him. Finish him. Don't stop. 
He's able to slip the leg. Oh! oh, how good is this? Both men going for the finish. Oh, big left. Nice straight punch there. He's throwing these punches in combination, really dictate the pace to his opponent. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh! Oh, oh, oh my goodness! Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 34 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to Science. This guy could have been a professional boxer, probably a world champion if he so chose. He loves the MMA game, but his boxing is certainly his bread and butter. I mean, a guy that was on par to make an Olympic team, and that is in one specific skill set. When you reach that level, when you're winning the national championship, and you're about to go to the Olympics, but you choose a different avenue, yeah. you decide you want to fight mixed martial arts, it's truly something special. He has the most educated jab I have ever seen in the octagon. He throws the jab, it always comes back to the face. It never goes to the hip. And if you rush him, if you rush him, he has the ability to switch stances from the bench to the southpaw and land a great counter right hand that will put your lights up. Better jab than your guy, Rosendo Sanchez. Oh, it's something that put Rosendo Sanchez to shape. This is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you wanted to be like Bruce Lee. You wanted to be that fast. You wanted to be that charismatic. You wanted to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at the bar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee, ladies and gentlemen, Bruce effing Lee. And he finds himself in another big spot here tonight. Or kill the date for this, our main event of the evening. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Bobby King Green! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Bruce the Dragon 
Lynn. Herb Dean, our referee Ready for this fight. one. Ready. Go. All right, so here we go with this stand-up only fight. You guys got to play by the rules. No grappling or wrestling of any type. Also, you cannot do follow-up strikes on the floor. Let's see who the last man standing will be tonight. Effective use of the jab there by Lee. Oh, he blocked that shot and lands the hook on the counter. Uppercut to the head. Oh, my goodness, these balls are going at him. Another huge right. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Green. Over and over, this guy's getting hit right in his face. Oh, roundhouse kick. Style points on that one. Well, he misses with the left punch there. So more output, at least in the early going. There's his jab. Able to check that kick as well. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Hands high, hands high. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Keep your head in it, keep your head in it. Trying to kick the leg out. Nice block. Just over three minutes to go. Clean execution on that leg kick. Back to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll, and you watch the opponent walking gingerly on his leg, and one big tell that you're starting to really do well with your leg kicks is when your opponent starts to switch stances. Right. Watch for a stance switch very soon. Oh! Yeah, he's hurt really bad. Oh! Shoes left! Nice shot. Hurt him again. And back to his feet. That's good defense to get that guard up. Nice punch land over the top. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. And that spinning kick out its home up top. on his first test in elementary school. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night for that man. He didn't like that left hand. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Here's Bruce.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, eight seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! So the legend Bruce Lee does it.